Hello, Arnold. Are you spying on people? You know, it's not so nice to be a peeping Tom, especially so blatantly. I warned you, Arnold. If you stare at the sun, get ready for eye burns, you numbskull. Our eyes are the road on which light-sensitive cells travel. They love the sun, but from a distance. When you look at the sun, you send them straight into a fire. Also, ultraviolet rays damage the proteins in the eye lens, gradually impairing visibility. Look out, Arnie! Oh no, you've fallen into wet concrete and you can't get out of it. So you're gonna have to stare straight at the sun. The longer you look at the sun, the deeper the ultraviolet rays penetrate into your eyes. First, they burn the outer layer, the cornea. Then they damage the proteins in your eye's lens. And then they reach the light-sensitive cells of the retina. So you're not crying anymore, are you, Arnie? That's because there are no more tears left in your eyes. What's that? Could it be a cloud? But today is football day, and the authorities are artificially dispersing all the clouds. But that isn't the worst thing. Ah, you really shouldn't have put those matchsticks in your eyes, buddy. What, you didn't think you'd dream of the sun again? Arnold, you've gone blind! Sun-induced blindness can be central or peripheral. In special cases, night blindness can occur. That's when a person can't see anything in poor lighting. Let's check your vision. Find the like button and press it. This way we'll know your eyes are okay. Wake up, Arnie! I told you that spying on Berta was a bad idea. And these are the consequences. You know, Arnold, I decided to go to the morgue and say my final goodbyes to you. Oh my god, are you alive? No, you've been resurrected. It seems that the elixir you drank worked. You are now immortal. Congratulations, Arnold. You will now be the longest living organism on Earth. Your body is now regenerating, and the term cellular senescence <laughs> is now just a joke for you. Well, how are you gonna use your immortality? Got it, you'll cross the road on red. Grope random girls. You'll also win the Kenny McCormick Lookalike Contest. That's ridiculous. You have an infinite number of years ahead of you, and you waste them on this? Arnold, you could study everything in the world, learn any martial art, and even go explore and colonize new galaxies. Arnold, how about maybe stop wasting your time? Okay, so maybe for 200 years, you're gonna binge watch every single Netflix series. I see you got a little bored. Plus, your house has started to decay, and you're still young. One of the disadvantages of immortality is that you have to outlive all your loved ones. In addition, the world around you is changing rapidly. But you will lag behind in progress, and you will feel superfluous in society. Everything that was once important to you will gradually disappear. Over time, everything will cease to please and surprise you at all. Because you've already seen everything. You will become deeply depressed. Sorry, friend, but it's no use. Stop it, Arnold. You know you're immortal. Arnold, let's go watch the show. Arnold. Okay, I'll leave you alone. The brain works much better when it receives a lot of nutrients. This can be achieved through more rapid circulation of the blood. A shot of adrenaline will increase your heart rate to 220 beats per minute. And a 40th cup of coffee will provide all 350. Let's see if we've nourished your brain enough. Well... But what if we make your heart contract at a speed of 300,000 times per second? Blood will run through your veins 20 times faster than the speed of sound. Obviously, all your veins and blood vessels will burst instantly, and your heart won't even be able to contract a second time. 
So, we'll do an upgrade. We'll replace your heart with a motor, and we'll make your blood more viscous. Now, this is a whole different story. In this form, you are a Superman. All processes of the body are accelerated thousands of times. It will be the most productive time of your life. With such a brain, you could create a company more successful than Google or refine Einstein's theory of gravity, advancing humanity hundreds of years ahead. But because of your accelerated metabolism, you'll have to spend all your time on the toilet. But don't worry, it won't last for long. Your body can only withstand a maximum of two hours of such stress and strain, and then BAM! Hey, Arnold, you forgot to take the test. Arnold! Well, okay, whatever. This huge transparent pipe reaches the bottom of the Mariana Trench. You'll have to go down 36,070 feet. It sounds like it's incredibly deep, but when looking at the whole planet, the Mariana Trench is not even a pothole in the road. In a sealed high-speed elevator, the trip to the bottom would take just 11 minutes. What an ignoramus you are! Now you have to get down manually. Due to the fact that the pipe is filled with air, the pressure at the very bottom will be only two times higher than normal. But if it gets filled with water, the pressure will increase 1,072 times. Just look at what cold, pressure, and lack of oxygen did to the local inhabitants. For example, xenophyophores had to develop immunity to uranium, mercury, lead, and other hazardous materials that would destroy any other creature on Earth. Looking at such unicellular organisms, an idea appears of how life on the Moon, Jupiter, or even Europa might look. Arnold, do you know what really awaits you at the bottom? Loneliness. There's not a single living soul, except for perhaps a lost shrimp. It's hard to believe it, but more people have visited the moon than the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Arnold, look, there really is someone out there. I wonder how he'll pay you, with shells? The journey back will take at least 24 hours, or you can just open the latch. New experiment. You'll drink all the coffee you've harvested in one sitting. Your stock is just enough to make 10 liters of espresso, or 200 cups. So suck it up, buttercup. People all over the world drink 500 billion cups a year, and nothing bad happens. Alas, this dose of caffeine all at once will kill you twice. But I love you, Arnie, so I'm giving you two extra lives. Hungry? Espresso has zero calories. You should be thankful that caffeine dulls your pangs of hunger. Arnie, did you hear about the Australian students who, after their fifth cup of espresso, thought they heard music in white noise? This experiment confirmed the psychoactive properties of caffeine. Arnie, can you hear me? Arnie! Really, it's impossible to drink 10 liters of espresso. The violent tremors in your hands and paranoia won't let you take a sip after 50th cup. But a contract is a contract. So here, take a caffeine pill. An overdose of caffeine provokes cardiac arrest. In your case, double cardiac arrest. Congratulations! With three lives, you managed to survive the experiment. I think it's for you, Arnie. I warn you, if you don't want problems, you work for me, and only me. What's that? A contract? Have you already been cast in something? Take your time, Arnold, and read through that carefully before signing. I'm thinking you could make some money renting out that big, empty space between your ears. What do you think, Arnold? That space inside your big red head is so empty, I think we could store my grampy's old motorcycle in there. Arnold, for this role, it looks like you're going to have to triple your weight. Actors, in order to get as close to a role as possible, often have to gain or lose weight in a very short period of time. Christian Bale, from 2008 to 2013, had to lose weight nine times. 
and also had to gain as much as 30 kilograms. That's 66 pounds. To quickly make progress gaining weight, use a bigger plate. That way, big portions will look smaller. <gasps> Add in lots of snacks, Arnold, like dried fruits, nuts, and peanut butter sandwiches. And don't forget about desserts. Arnold, it looks like gaining weight is your secret talent. You're really good at this. Well, soon you'll be ready to play the lead role. You're gonna be a star. So that's why they needed an actor with such a tremendous weight? Too bad, Arnie. Looks like all your effort was in vain. And your pay ain't even enough to get you home. So you decided to go on foot, did you, Arnold? Hey, Arnold, are you okay? Due to all the extra weight, your bones are under enormous stress. We need to calculate your body mass index. At 60 inches and 206 pounds, your BMI is higher than 40, and that's class 3 obesity, buddy. You need some serious help. Here, call this number. My friends are gonna take you to a special place. Here, in just a few minutes, all the excess fat is gonna be pumped out of you. Yeah. Uh, you look amazing. Oh, no. Meh, the saggy skin will help remind you not to make stupid choices in the future. And as for all your pumped out fat, on the black market, some cosmetics companies are willing to pay up to $15,000 for just 2.2 pounds of the stuff. So, Arnold, go on back home. Turn on the TV and go about your usual business. You're gonna eat more than 1,500 bags of chips. Let's get started. Ah, that wonderful crunch of chips when you bite into them. Did you know that without this sound, chips seem 15% less tasty? Our brain subconsciously identifies crunch as an indicator of freshness. So I guess that means that when you eat something spoiled, all you need to do is listen to a loud crunch sound. Really, it turns out eating chips is not cool at all. They contain a lot of trans fats, which double the chance of developing depression, and they reduce brain activity by 25%. Come on, buddy. Try these most unusual chips with flavors like strawberry and cucumber, Pepsi, and even squirrel meat. By the way, in reality, there's no air inside a chip bag. It's concentrated nitrogen. They pump it into the bag so that the chips don't break and so that oxygen doesn't react with the oil in the chips. This way, they remain fresh and crispy for up to three months. Feeling weak already, are you, buddy? Let me tell you what's coming next. Due to a deficiency of vitamin B12, you're heading for baldness, loss of vision, and a very likely death from cirrhosis of the liver. And that's not all. There are 75 more slides. You think you're eating potato chips, don't you, buddy? This famous brand doesn't really produce chips at all. They only contain about 40% potato. So at best, this food could be considered baked goods. So Arnie, did you give up chips? Kudos to you, buddy. I think you can treat yourself to some arcade games. Wow, your prize is a year's supply of soda. How very original, Arnie. Arnold, you're just a magnet for trouble. Yay! That looks really bad. You need immediate hospitalization. You're not gonna make it to the hospital. Your heart could stop. You need an emergency blood transfusion to maintain pressure in your circulatory system. During the Vietnam War, coconut IVs were sometimes used to treat the wounded. Amazingly, coconut water is quite similar to human blood plasma. So what do we have? Cola. Okay, let's get to work. But first, you need to get rid of all the gas. If the gas contained in the drink gets inside your blood vessels, it'll literally tear you apart from the inside. Cola contains sugar, glucose. This is a perfect source of fast energy and allows you to really perk up. It seems to have worked. The cola has taken root in your body. But you're a 
appearance has changed just a little, buddy. Even your hair has changed color. But on the other hand, you'll be a most welcome guest at any children's party. With so much caffeine in the cola running through your veins, you only have to sleep once every three days. Now, you have much more time than regular people. After all, even professional athletes drink cola for a quick dose of energy. And you can always get a refill at the nearest supermarket. No, stop, you kamikaze nutball! Just one single Mentos could turn you into a surface-to-air missile! Don't worry, it won't ruin your day. Cola even helps combat mild depression. But to be honest, Arnold, cola in your blood is actually deadly. Your eyes, kidneys, nerves, and heart suffer the most. Yeah, looks like cola's not an option. So, what do you say? Let's try Pepsi next time!